Okay, today we're going to build a small spatula. So I'm already in inches units. I've saved my file. So let's start with a sketch on the front view. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball a sketch, a 45 degree angle to the uh, origin, and then a horizontal line. Let's go ahead and dimension that. So the, uh, the length of the spatula is 3.375 inches. And this does make a 45 degree angle. So that would be 135 degrees. And it extends about an inch. So that horizontal distance there will be an inch. Okay, and then if I, rather than draw all that geometry again, if I select and choose to do the offset, let's offset that 30 thousandths of an inch, 0 0.03. And finally, to enclose the profile, we just need to draw short little line segments on the ends there. So now we have a fully enclosed profile. Um, we finish our sketch and let's go ahead and do a symmetric extrusion of 1.625 inches. Okay, so that starts to give us our basic shape for our spatula. Okay, next let's put a uh, sketch on that slanted face there. And just using the line tool, let's just eyeball some line segments, making sure I'm on the line. And then let's dimension from the bottom edge up to there about an eighth of an inch, 0.125. Go ahead and put that dimension on both sides. And of course the distance in the middle is about 5 eighths of an inch, 0.625. And then to make it symmetrical, let's make those segments equal to each other. Then we can finish the sketch and do a cut extrude. Okay, making progress. Okay, let's next add some fillets to add some details to this. So let's zoom in there on that edge. And let's try about 75 thousandths. See how that looks. That looks pretty good. A little bit of a bend there. And then we also would want to add that to... the back edge. So we'll have two fillets there at 75 thousandths. Okay. Um, let's see this couple more edges here to add fillets to. How about that one and the corresponding edge on the other side. And let's try a tenth of an inch for that one, maybe an eighth, just to give it, it has a little bit of a round on it. That looks pretty good. And then let's add two more edges down here. And this edge is a little bit bigger, so I'm estimating that to be around 3 sixteenths of an inch, 0.19 would be close to that and say okay and that adds some fillets all right next let's work on putting the uh, the slots that we have on the face of the spatula so we'll go ahead and do a sketch on that face and let's first of all find our slot tool and we can do a center to center slot or overall it doesn't really matter and let's just kind of eyeball them to start. So I know I have three slots. 
So I'm just kind of getting them close to start out and then we'll add some constraints to these. Okay. Um, first constraint to add. Let's make sure that one is lined up horizontal with the origin. Okay, so that'll make sure that it's lined up in the center and we see that is now constrained. And let's do a radius of 0.1 and they are all the same. So then after I do a, a 0.1 on one end, let's go ahead and make them all equal using my equals constraint. And then I can go ahead and make the outside ones equal to each other, even though I haven't put any distances on them. I know those need to be equal. Let's see, the distance from this to the end looks to be about one and a quarter inches. And looks to be about an inch long. And that looks pretty good. So then the distance of this one to the end is about an inch. And those look to be about an inch and a half long. And then they are, I would guess, about 0.2 inches from the middle one. All right, so we have a fully constrained sketch. We'll go ahead and finish our sketch. And go ahead and do a cut extrusion. Making sure you pick all three slots. And we can go ahead and cut all. Okay, one more small fillet um, on the end here, actually not a fillet, a chamfer. It does kind of get sharpened on the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and select a chamfer. Instead of doing an equal distant, I wanna do two distances and I wanna make sure that the tangent chain is deselected. So when I select that, since that was about 30 thousandths thick, I'm gonna cut it 0.015. And then the distance back looks to be about a quarter inch. So you see that gives that edge. That edge does appear to be then a little bit sharper. Okay, let's rotate this around, get some good eyes. And we can just extrude that rectangular face. I'm assuming that comes up into the handle probably an inch and a half to two inches, somewhere around there. Um, I don't have permission to cut this tool apart to see how far the metal goes up into the plastic candle. I think I would lose uh, my good standing with my wife if I did that. So we'll just assume it goes about two inches up into the handle. And then let's go back. Now that I have that face, let's go back and put a sketch on that extended face and offset. So now we could just do an offset of that rectangle. So I'll just take that rectangular face and move it out and let's go out. It looks to be, looks to stick out about an eighth of an inch around all the sides. So that'll give me some thickness to the handle. Finish the sketch. And we can extrude. Uh, I want to make sure we select both of those profiles and this time we could go two ways. Um, let's go one way and then we, need, we want to make sure we're doing a join extrude. One way we're going to go back that full two inches to where it meets up with the tapered part of the handle and the other one we're going to go about an inch and a half. It handles about three and a half inches long. Okay, so I do that and I have a very blockish handle. So now it's just a matter of uh, squaring or rounding that off with some fillets. So let's try, uh, let's see, first fillet. Let's 
let's try those at about 0.375. And that looks pretty good. So then let's keep going in all these other edges. Round it off at probably around a tenth of an inch. Let's see how that looks. Looks pretty good. All right, so there's the small spatula.